Hello everyone, and welcome to the Security and Risk Management course, specifically designed to prepare you for the Certified Information Systems Security Professional, CISSP, certification. I'm your instructor from Flipped Academy, and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this journey to understanding the critical concepts of security and risk management in the world of information technology. Our exploration begins with a comprehensive overview as we introduce you to the intriguing world of cybersecurity and risk management. We'll then delve into the different categories and types of cybercrime, understanding the various ways in which malicious actors can exploit vulnerabilities in our digital landscape. Moving on, we'll unravel the concepts of cybersecurity risk management and cybersecurity risk assessment. These are the cornerstones of our journey as they equip us with the tools to identify, assess, and mitigate potential risks. No conversation about cybersecurity is complete without addressing cyber threats, which come in various forms and intensities. Our discussions will also encompass cyber risk management frameworks, guiding frameworks that provide structure and guidance for effective risk management strategies. Lastly, we'll wrap up this module by highlighting the best practices that organizations and individuals can adopt to enhance their cybersecurity risk management efforts. Let's understand importance of each topic one by one briefly. Introduction. Defining the importance of cybersecurity in today's digital age. Categories of cybercrime. Exploring various categories such as hacking, identity theft, phishing, malware attacks, and more. Types of cybercrime. Examining specific cybercrimes like ransomware, social engineering, financial fraud, and intellectual property theft. What is cybersecurity risk management? Defining cybersecurity risk management as the process of identifying, assessing, and mitigating risks to maintain confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information. What is cybersecurity risk assessment? Explaining cybersecurity risk assessment as the systematic evaluation of risks to determine their potential impact and likelihood. What are cyber threats? Defining cyber threats as potential events that can exploit vulnerabilities to cause harm. Cyber risk management frameworks. Introducing frameworks like NIST Cybersecurity Framework and ISO 27001 for structuring and guiding cybersecurity risk management efforts. Best practices for cybersecurity risk management presenting essential strategies such as regular updates, employee training, incident response planning, and continuous monitoring. Exciting times will lie ahead as we delve into each of these topics in detail. So, buckle up, stay engaged, and let's continue our journey into the realm of security and risk management. Welcome back, learners. In this part of our module, we'll dive into the fascinating world of cybersecurity. With the rapid growth of the internet in India, it's important to recognize both its advantages and disadvantages. On one hand, the internet provides incredible opportunities, but on the other, it brings about challenges like cybercrime. In simple terms, cybercrime refers to illegal activities conducted on the internet. These activities could involve using computers and the internet to steal identities, engage in unlawful imports, or even distribute harmful programs. As we explore this topic, keep in mind the dual nature of the internet and its implications. Moving on to the concept of cybersecurity, it's a field that focuses on using technologies and processes to safeguard computers, networks, and data from unauthorized access and attacks initiated by cybercriminals. While cybersecurity plays a critical role in ensuring the security of networks, data, and applications, its ultimate goal is to create a strong defense against various types of internet-based attacks. As we delve deeper into the concept of cybersecurity, let's clarify what it entails. Cybersecurity revolves around shielding systems that are connected to the internet. This includes safeguarding hardware, software, and data from the clutches of cyber attacks. The overarching aim is to maintain the integrity and proper functioning of these interconnected systems. Security, within the realm of computing, is a broad term that encompasses both cybersecurity and physical security. Enterprises use these facets to defend against unauthorized access to crucial areas like data centers and computer systems. This comprehensive approach highlights the importance of protecting digital assets from various angles. Furthermore, within the spectrum of cybersecurity, we encounter information security. 
This specialized subset focuses on preserving the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data. In essence, information security ensures that data remains protected, accurate, and accessible to authorized individuals. As we progress, remember that cybersecurity is a multifaceted concept involving a variety of measures to combat the ever-evolving landscape of cyber threats. As we dive deeper into the world of cybersecurity, let's explore a fundamental concept known as the CIA. Triad of Information Security Confidentiality stands as the first pillar of this triad. It guarantees that data or an information system is accessible solely by those who are authorized. Maintaining confidentiality ensures that sensitive information is kept away from prying eyes, guarding against unauthorized access. The second pillar, integrity, revolves around trustworthiness. It ensures that data and information systems are reliable and can be trusted. This means that only authorized individuals can make edits or modifications, and data remains unaltered when it's at rest or not actively being used. The third pillar, availability, is all about accessibility. It's about ensuring that data and information systems are available and accessible whenever they're needed. Whether it's an individual seeking information or a system requiring data to function, availability plays a crucial role in maintaining operations. Moving forward, let's untangle the closely related concepts of security and privacy. Privacy, the first aspect, deals with your rights over your personal information and its usage. It's about having control over who accesses your information and how it's used. Protecting privacy means ensuring that your personal data isn't misused or disclosed without your consent. Security, on the other hand, zeroes in on the protection of your personal information. It's about implementing measures and protocols that safeguard your information from unauthorized access, data breaches, and other cyber threats. Security measures work in harmony with privacy rights to ensure your information remains both confidential and untampered. As we progress in this course, remember that both security and privacy are integral components of a robust cybersecurity framework. Striking the right balance between them ensures a safe and respectful digital environment for all. And with that, we've laid the groundwork for understanding the CIA triad and the distinctions between security and privacy. Keep these foundational concepts in mind as we journey further into the realm of cybersecurity. Let's now delve into the different categories of cybercrime, which can be categorized in two distinct ways. The first category involves using a computer as the target. This means that the attacker uses a computer to launch attacks against other computers or systems. Think of activities like hacking, where an attacker gains unauthorized access to a system or virus and worm attacks that infect other computers and propagate through networks. Denial of service, DOS, attacks, which flood a system with traffic to render it inaccessible, also fall under this category. The second category views the computer as a weapon. In this scenario, a computer is utilized to carry out real-world crimes. A prime example is credit card fraud, where a computer is used to steal financial information and engage in unauthorized transactions. Let's now transition into exploring the principles of computer security, starting with a visual representation. Here, you see five layers, application, services, operating system, OS, OS kernel, and hardware. These layers build upon each other to create a cohesive system. But what's crucial to understand is that attackers often aim to attack at a level below the security layer. To illustrate, imagine an arrow pointing to the bottom two layers with a tag that reads, attackers attack at level below security level. This emphasizes that attackers seek vulnerabilities in layers below where security mechanisms are in place. An important question arises, how do you prevent attackers from accessing a layer beneath your protection mechanism? The answer lies in the concept of a security perimeter or boundary. Every protection mechanism establishes a security perimeter outlining the boundaries within which it operates. Unfortunately, attackers strive to find ways to bypass these protection mechanisms. As we proceed through this course, remember these principles. Understanding the layers of a system and how attackers exploit vulnerabilities is key to building effective cybersecurity strategies.
kindly take the time to thoroughly explore this comprehensive module as it will undoubtedly contribute to a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of the subject matter.